Did you shed a tear? All my black American friends cried. Oh, indeed, the tears were real. I think the tears signify uh, memories of great suffering and hope for a better future. Uh, speaking of, of hope, uh, your book is called Hope on a Tightrope. What do you mean by that? I mean that uh, Barack Obama's brilliance, charisma, and organizational genius signifies the end of the age of Reagan, the end of the epic of conservatism, and the end of the rule of Republican Party in the last eight years. And that means then the economics of greed, the cultural of indifference to the poor, and the politics of fear have now come to an end. And the question now is, we're on the tightrope, we're in a transitional moment. What will the age of Obama look like? Can we get beyond the trivializing of poor people's suffering? Can we get beyond the dogma of unregulated markets? Can we get beyond the Washington consensus when it comes to attitudes toward the third world? Obama, though, ran as a post-racial candidate. He didn't even mention Martin Luther King's name in his speech last night. What are your thoughts on that? He ran as a candidate. He said, look at me for who I am, for my merits, for what I can do for everybody. Well, in many ways, the term post-racial needs to be examined. And the, the sense in which it really doesn't exist, it just means that white fellow citizens are more likely to vote for a black candidate who has qualifications rather than be preoccupied with his pigmentation. Post-racial means less racist on behalf of white voters. And that is progress. But post-racial ought not to mean black people disappearing, as if there's no such thing as black people anymore. It's just human beings in the abstract. No, all human beings are embodied, as it were. And so as we see the glass ceiling actually pierce at the highest level and the symbolic impact, my God, the impact on children. And I've got a precious daughter, Zayton. It makes a big difference. They, that means the sky is the limit for them. And of course, the impact on white children as well. They understand that the sky is the limit for children across the board. That symbol, the challenge now is moving from symbol to substance. What kind of policies? Will you accent working people? Will you accent poor people? Who will be your advisors? What will your cabinet look like? Symbols matter, but then we move the substance. So how far has America come with this election? Well, when it comes to black faces in high places, America has undergone extraordinary change. When it comes to the suffering of black poor people, the suffering of black working people, the verdict is not yet in in terms of shifting from symbol to substance. But I believe Barack Obama has what it takes. We're going to find out whether he has what it takes, I think he does, but more than likely we're gonna find out whether America does because in the end, it's gonna be citizens organized and mobilized putting pressure on an Obama administration. There's a sense in which he is only as strong as the people's organizations are strong. Are you concerned about the huge expectations that have been placed on him and he's inheriting a very difficult situation, an economic, global economic meltdown, n not to speak of uh, two wars and all the other things that he will have to face before he can face any of the issues that you're talking about. Yeah, my, my, my loving advice to him is always, look, you've got two wars, you've got near depression, and you've got the legacy of Katrina that we have to be honest with the people on the one hand, but on the other hand, we must be bold, we must be creative, and we must be visionary. He has unique capacity to inspire. And together, I think we can make a difference, not just in America, but for those friends who know and call the wretched of the earth in every corner of the globe. It is a new day, it's a great day, and here in America today, it's a happy day. It is a happy day. And, and what do you think the biggest change has come since, since these few hours ago when, when people learned that uh, America has a black president. The self-image of the United States and the psyche of black people, as well as brown and yellow and red and white, but especially black people, a metamorphosis is setting in. And with now a black face in the White House and a precious black family as the first family, that transformation of the self-image of the United States will be profound. The question in, in the end will be, on the ground, can we empower those sly stone called everyday people? And will that produce positive effects in Asia, in Africa, in Latin America, in Europe, and the Middle East? My goodness, a tall order, isn't it? Oh, it is. It is. No doubt about it.